Hi guys, I am back. And so today I'm going to talk about the fact that my apartment flooded on Sunday, this past Sunday. Um, 10,000 gallons of water gushed from a broken sprinkler uh, that yeah, I think they said um, uh, there was a hairline fracture in the pipe and it just burst. And then it um, instantaneously called the fire department. The fire department had to come in and turn the water off. Um, so, yeah, it's just such a long story. I'm going to get more into it. But, you know, as I was coming in to the apartment, um, someone had obviously been in here because the... Um, the door where the sprinkler was, was open along with um, stuff was pulled out from um, inside that closet and it was all in my bathtub, like carpet or installation or, you know, something. Um, but nobody failed to call me. No one called me to tell me that your apartment's flooding. Get home. Save your valuables. Get your laptops. Get all the papers that you have from job fairs all across D.C. on the floor. They're getting wet. <laughs> Get home. Um, but nevertheless, God led me back home um, like shortly after it happened. And God allowed me to see the damage. And of course, when I first saw it, I ran back out and I started crying. Yes, I did. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I grabbed like some things. The first things I grabbed was, you know, my suitcase and, you know, that had my personal laptop in it that had my uh, work laptop. Yes, I do carry a suitcase to work every day. I got to get me like a, a drag uh, work laptop bag um the one that most people most federal employees carry to work but that's what i have right now because it it has those uh wheels like as you can walk alongside with you um that's a lot easier for me it may look weird but hey i'm a little weird um so I grabbed that. I grabbed all of my library books because I'm trying to get more into yoga, um, you know, and just relaxing more, doing a little bit of self-care because I did not want to pay for that for the library. Um, so I grabbed that, you know, any damages to that stuff because I had about five uh, yoga DVDs and a, a couple of uh, books on CD. Yes, I still listen to books on CD. My dad actually would take us to the library every Friday. Um, and you guys should be thankful for that because I have a thirst for knowledge and I am a knowledge seeker, a knowledge broker, and someone that can provide knowledge to you um, about federal employment, about all things uh, Jesus as well. So um, grab that, pull all of that stuff out just very, very quickly. Um, and then as I was whimpering in the hallway, my neighbor comes out and she was like, oh, do you need any help? What's going on? And I was like, my apartment's flooded. And so she got, helped me to get a lot of the stuff up, um, off the ground or the floor because the whole carpet was soaked all the way in the bedroom and all the way into, from the living room, um, into the bedroom, everything all the way back to, uh, my walk-in closet all the way out the door where you enter into the apartment because I, I noticed something was off you know because the light was off you know so somebody like I said had been in and cut the electricity off because that is um, electrocution hazard uh, water and and electricity so anyways but it didn't dawn on me um, the next day that you know, God gives me the ability to get wealth. And that's where Deuteronomy 8 and 18 comes into play. And let me pull that up on my cell phone now. And this is the English Standard Version. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. In the Bible, English Standard Version states, You shall remember the Lord your God for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers as it is this day. So, yeah, monetarily, 
in the world's eye, you know, your laptops are the most valuable. You know, um, your federal government uh, laptop is the most valuable or your personal laptop may be more valuable than a Bible. But God was like, no, baby, <laughs> you cannot walk without me. You cannot talk without God. You cannot remember your own work number without God. I'm the one that restrains you from going off on your coworkers when you want to go off on them, when you want to get a nasty attitude with them. I'm the one that restrains you from that. You know, I'm the one that restrains you from, you know, running red lights or, or doing other things that, you know, are not godly. I'm the one that gives you that wisdom. And so God had to kind of reel me back in and deal with me concerning this. And so he said, yeah, that may be the most valuable in the world's view, um, library books. And of course, I could have paid um, for those library books, but, you know, I didn't want to. You know, because it wasn't my fault if, if the water had damaged those library books. But the most important, the most valuable things in this house were my Bibles. And I didn't, you know, realize that at the time. But, you know, God had to kind of bring that to my remembrance. That the word of God is the most valuable. And so I you know, kind of got my thoughts back together. Like I said, the second day on Monday this past week, and I grabbed two Bibles and, um, I put them in this, my little suitcase, um, that I now take everywhere <laughs> whenever I leave my apartment. So that's really no way to live. Um, so, you know, I'm working on that behind the scenes and I know God is going to do a great miracle, um, behind that. And so, yeah, I grabbed the Leadership Bible, the NIV Bible that I've read um, scriptures from, uh, Leading by the Book, you know, that's on the cover of that. And then I grabbed my King James Version Bible with the Concordance in the back. And the Concordance basically is a dictionary of uh, words, you know, that you can look back through the Bible uh, for scriptures, you know, that correlates to different scriptures in the Bible, whatever you're having problems with, if it's insomnia, you know, if you need peace, um, if you need um, joy, you know, you would look those words up and then you would find the exact scriptures with those words in it uh, to just minister to your soul. Um, healing, um, I recently had to um, look up all scriptures on healing because I was believing God um, for something with my stomach that was going on uh, with me. And so the doctor was like, yeah, we need to do a colonoscopy on you. And I was like, no, you don't. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm healthy. <laughs> And I didn't say it like that, but, you know, I did say I do, while I do respect your medical degree and your medical opinion, there is nothing wrong with me. Um, it's probably just stress. And, you know, if you do do the colonoscopy, you're not going to find anything, you know, and I, I stated it just like that. And so, um, that week he wanted me to, you know, he gave me the prescription or the script to do the test um, for whatever it was. And so I said, before I take this test again, because I'd already taken it twice. So this was my third time. I said, I am going to read scriptures on healing, on healed. And I stood on Matthew 4 and 23. Where it said, you know, Jesus healed the land. And I just kept reading that over and over every morning. And I recorded myself reading that scripture on um, my little speaker on my cell phone. I also listened to um, Be Healed by Canton Jones on YouTube, the live version. I was, I was getting ready in the morning, you know, and I really just would sing and let that song just minister to me. And I also looked up what causes a negative result on this particular test. What was giving me elevated numbers? So Google was my friend along with the word of God. And so it said, 
eating things with vegetable oil in it causes that. So potato chips, you know, all this, you know, junk food and stuff. So I stopped eating that then and basically said it was like inflammation. You know, that's what it was. So I looked up foods that reduced inflammation. So that was kale, bell peppers, um, salmon, omega-3, you know, supplements, all of those things. I started implementing that into my diet. Turmeric, uh, thyme leaves, you know, the seasoning. You know, and I started implementing all of these things for a week. Next thing I know, you know, God said, go ahead and take the test. It is well. It is well. And turns out, took the test. Everything was uh, normal. The test went from like 242 down to 16. So God is still in the blessing business. Miracles are happening every day and you are looking at one. You're looking at one. And all I can say is I give God all the glory and the praise. I give him all the praise. Another testimony. You know, and I could have lost my life too with the flooding. You know, meaning... um you know, I could have been electrocuted or, you know, something just could have happened. And I was out. God allowed me to come back when I did. Um, so, you know, everything, I could salvage some things. You know, could have just been a lot worse. You know, all the sprinklers in the house could have gone off. And if it did, oh, well. <laughs> I still have my salvation. I still have Jesus Christ. I still have all the knowledge in my head <laughs> of biblical principles, of biblical wisdom that I've created to get wealth prior. So, you know, a flood is not going to change anything. Yeah, okay, it may set me back, you know, a couple of days, you know, all right, I may cry some tears or whatever, but... I still have Jesus Christ at the end of the day. So the next testimony is someone in my group, future federal employees of America, received a job offer, a federal job offer. Oh my gosh, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard the things that the Lord is going to do. And I, when I saw that, I was just like, praise God. Praise God. You know, this person is very active in the group. You know, they're always asking questions. They're always putting in comments in the group me chat that we have for that. And it's just a miracle. It's just a miracle, you know, because federal employment, <laughs> it is a trial and error process. You know, it's not easy. It does come quickly to some. You know, some can just apply one job. They get that job and it's a promotion and they're in and they're set. You know, but for some, it's just applying over and over and over and over and over. And then that miracle breaks where they get that job offer. So I just wanted to encourage you with this. You know, don't forget that God gives you the ability to apply for jobs on USA Jobs, to keep going when you want to give up, you know, to keep you from slapping your coworker. <laughs> I don't condone violence, but I'm just saying sometimes it does get a little aggravating. But, you know, just make sure that you're keeping God first. And I have to say that for myself, no matter what happens in this world, you know, God is the most important thing whether my apartment floods again or not. So I just wanted to drop that nugget on you guys, drop those testimonies on you guys. Keep emailing me, keep DMing me, keep commenting under my YouTube videos. I see all of that and I respond to everyone. And thank you very much. I know some of you guys are still waiting to get into the group me. It's been a lot that has been going on, but I am going to get to you and add you. Please know that. So love you guys, praying for you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.